Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is ExpressJS full tutorial series for absolute beginners. So far we have covered a lot of ground with ExpressJS and in the last couple of episodes we have learned about MongoDB, we have learned about Mongo's library and today we are going to learn how to connect to MongoDB using Mongo's library. This is part 17 of the ExpressJS full tutorial playlist. On your screen right now you see a lot of topics which we have already covered. If you have missed out on these, make sure you go through them so that you have continuity in your learning. Today is 17th uh, episode where we are going to learn about how to connect to MongoDB using Mongoose library. Now this is this particular tutorial. Make sure the next one you don't miss it because I'm going to start a live project architecture and explanation of it because the remaining uh, episodes like CRUD operations, querying, all that requires us to build a real application. So we will focus some time on building a live project starting next episode. So make sure that you stay tuned, make sure you like, share, subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss it. All right, we will also do one live project using MySQL down the line. So make sure that you stay tuned for that as well. All right, uh, before we start today's um, episode, there are a few basic things I want to let you know, which is one, I have an entire MongoDB playlist in my channel uh, that is extremely important for you to learn and work with MongoDB. So make sure that you check it out. The playlist link is in the description box below. Make sure you cover all the MongoDB aspects because when you start querying, you will need that knowledge. Again, if you have any doubt in that MongoDB course, please do ask me in the comment section. I'll be more than happy to help you. All right, uh, we saw this in the last episode. What is Mongoose? Mongoose is an elegant MongoDB object modeling for Node.js. It will make our life easy because it will help us with a lot of utility functions and methods that we can directly call to connect and work with MongoDB. Mongoose library will help us with basic things like built-in typecasting, validation, query building, much more so that, you know, it's easy. Some of the common basic hygiene things are taken care by Mongoose. So we don't have break our head around in all of that. Since we'll be using heavily Mongoose, so it's a good idea to start with basic connectivity to MongoDB and understand how it works, right? So let's get started. And these are the five steps we will do to connect to MongoDB, right? So the first step that you will do is create a var mongoose equal to require. You'll import that uh, module. Then we'll create a properties file where we will define the variables. And then using that properties file, we will you import it in our index.js file or whichever file you want to work with. Finally, we will connect and we will check that the connection is connected or not. Right. So these, these steps are done basically in most almost all uh, applications which use MongoDB mean stack along with Mongoose. Right. So what you learn here will be common and generic across everything that you will any whenever you work with any mean stack application which uses Mongoose, these steps will be common. All right. So that being said, let's get started with hands on example. All right, so the first thing I told you, we have done already installed right in the last episode. So if you want to verify, just verify it in package.json. You should have an entry for Mongoose, right? All right, so now that we have done it, what we will do first, we will do the step number one, which is we will have to import Mongoose, right? So this is the first and the foremost basic thing, which is to import. So this is our step number one, right? So once we have done it, the next thing that we have to do is create a simple, um, we can say, let's say um, module dot exports, right? And it's nothing but a simple app dot JS, or you can say um, any file which uses basically for us to use it. Right. Um, it's just a module dot export. Right. So let's go ahead and do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new file properties. Yes. Right. So now this is where the file will be. So I'll say module dot exports. Right. 
and then we will say here now we will define that so let's say db score port right so what is the port that you want to run on and these can be anything that you want to give again there is no um, specific thing as to what you want to take extract so this will always be our local since we are doing it in localhost it will be localhost followed by the port followed by the database name okay remember this will be the database name right so this is how you will connect to mongodb right so you will give the db url where is that database and followed by the database name of it right so once you have done it then go to your file wherever you want it and step number two um, we can directly say properties is equal to require slash properties right dot or I can say DB URL if I want to extract only that property right so I'm extracting the DB URL so once we have done this this is our step number two or actually step number two was creating the file this is step number two right so step number two is to create the properties this file okay step number three is to import the properties file with the database URL now the next step is mongo start now here you will say so you will see the option right it will say create connection connect right so we will say dot connect now here it will say what is the string right and the string that we will pass is mongodb url right so this is our step number four which is nothing but when we call mongoose dot connect it will call this db url and what is this url doing it's nothing but it will connect to mongodb at this url right which is our local host uh, 22.27.0.1.7 and crm all right so far so good now we will also do a console log and say dot connection right now here you will check dot on that means whenever the connection is on then you can say event what is the in event let's say whenever it's connected right you can have a listener right now what is a listener it's nothing but you can just a callback method right just a callback method so now we will say so dot log mongoose or we can say connected to mongo db using mongoose chess library all right that's all this is step number five done so see this in five easy steps now you have created a common library which has your database details and using this you will import it in the index.js or app.js and call these five steps and you are connected to mongodb how do we make sure it is running then just run node or i can say node mon node mon followed by index.js so let's see this right so it says starting node index.js it's uh, running the node mon which means it will automatically listen to it right so now what we'll do uh, we'll open our postman app and this is the index right so if you see this so it has started the uh, but there is an error looks like invalid schema expected mongodb okay so it has to be with mongodb sorry mongodb colon yeah it has to be like this mongodb followed by um, the local host thing so let's cancel this all right i think there is some syntax error uh, deprecating error in error in slash in host identifier okay error in 
new URL parser slash in host identifier. Okay, so this is not needed. Not needed. Now let's see. Okay, so now it's resolved. Now it says connected to MongoDB using Mongoose. Right, so that was the problem. So make sure that you get a well formed URL. Um, so now let me show you one last time. So now it will connect and give us the message which says connected to MongoDB using Mongoose.js. Right? Now let's say I screw up something here and I say let's say I give it wrong. So now see it will give me error right here. Right? So that is the way that it means now you know that it has connected to the correct database and we are all set to start querying our MongoDB. Right? So that was about connecting to MongoDB. Now, uh, starting next episode, uh, we will start doing some live project, right? So we will build an entire backend, build an entire backend system, right? For a live project, which means we will, um, we will do an entire backend system with authentication, everything with a open.